everyone, I'm Jay and this is the Camden Stitch. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I will be looking at the latest Burda. Um, it is a really, really good issue. I think there's some great uh, patterns in there, so I shall be giving you my views about it. Obviously, there's the odd stinker as well, and I shall not hold back. So we start off with a sort of suit with a drawstring at the waist of the jacket and drawstring pants. It's a bit weird. It's described as a blazer. Um, and they say not a twinge of stuffiness with this blazer featuring comfortable casing at the waist. I think it's quite unusual. I think it's a different way of kind of doing the suiting thing. If you have to wear a suit for work all the time, I think this is quite a nice, unusual way of interpreting that. Um, I like the way they've made it up in that color. It does say it's four dots. Four dots means mega hard. Um, so approach with caution. Oh, it's called masterpiece as well, which means it's one of their like, put aside a section of your life for it. Um, moving on, we have got the most incredible blazer, which I would never make because I've got nowhere to wear it to, but I wish I could, I absolutely love it. Um, they've made it up in kind of an orangey uh, rust color. Uh, it's twill described as. It's so fitted, I imagine it would just give you the most brilliant figure. Uh, it's properly, properly tailored. Um, it's got angular extra large lapels, figure shaping darts and contrast coloured buttons. And yeah, it's just absolutely lovely, love that. Then we have a pattern for a blouse, um, which is, it's just a blouse. It's, well, it's a shirt, I suppose. It's like a loose shirt. It's okay, I mean, I don't really ever make things like that, but I think it's quite nice. I have actually got a ready to wear shirt like that that's made in fabric with like red hearts on it and I do really love it when I wear it but you know I don't really wear that separates that much so I wouldn't really make that and um, next up we've got a top and again I really like this it's one of their super easy ones and it's really plain from the front and then it's got these really cool pleats in the back um, just makes it a little bit different I think it's quite nice then we've got another super easy top, which I think I might give a go to. It's really unusual the way it's cut out at the side with these big sort of panels, which reminds me a bit of the way that the kilo wrap dress is cut. So you've got these huge panels that come out the side, but in this case, they don't tie, they're just left to hang loose. And I really like that. I think they look really cool, but it might feel a bit cold, a bit drafty, I don't know. Anyway, they've paired it with the trousers from this suit suit that had the drawstring waist the trousers are also drawstring and they have made them in crepe so it's this kind of athleisure like suiting and then like athletic details that sort of trend then we have got oh look at that exposed zipper that looks cool this bright orange dress which i love the way that they've styled that picture um the dress looks like it would be super flattering it's got waist sorry side seam panels uh, which you could color block and the bottom panel has got inbuilt pockets um what have they made it at stretch crepe okay so you could maybe i'm sure you could make that out of something like a ponty net if you wanted to give it a slightly more relaxed look but it would look really sort of fitted and smart for for work i think um then i have this uh moving on we have this jumper and I really love it. I mean, it's really simple. What is it? It's two dots. Um, it's just got this large inset band at the neck and I just think it takes your sweatshirt and makes it something a bit different. The only hesitation I'd have about this is that uh, in the winter, my neck gets really cold and I just finish up wearing either polo necks all the time or a scarf all the time. Um, so I wouldn't make a V-neck for winter myself. Um, then we have a waistcoat or vest if you're American. It is another really lovely tailored piece. I really like the darts in it. It's the sort of thing I would never wear and normally if I saw a waistcoat I would turn the page straight away 
but they've made it up in a really modern electric blue colour. They styled it really well. I think it looks great. It could actually be converting me to the waistcoat trend. Then we've got this dress, which I am on the fence about, I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of it. I like the idea that it's got this kind of tie built in at the neckline. I think Berda are, I think Berda's hallmark is doing sort of these quirky details on a lot of their designs. Um, so it's got this tie at the neckline and then it's got handkerchief hem skirt, which I've never really been on board with handkerchief hems. But I just feel like the tie at the neckline, it's slightly neither one thing nor the other. I feel like it needs to be larger and more of a statement. As it is, it, I feel like it kind of looks a bit raggy the way it hang, hangs there. But I think if it was bigger, it could be a really cool idea. Now this dress is made of crepe. I thought this would be made of a jersey because it looks like it would be really comfortable in a jersey. My advice would be take that pattern, take the zip out and whack it in a jersey and then I'd probably wear it. It'd be much more casual, quite a cool dress, and much more easy to make. Now we have a lot of horsey pictures so hold on to your reins, saddle up and Again, we have this jacket, which is the masterpiece one, and they've made it in a tweed check, and it looks great. I think it looks really lovely. And in this tweed, I would consider wearing it. I'm not sure I would consider making it, but I would consider buying it for it in a shop. Um, I think the styling this month is great. I'd love to find out who styles and if it's the same person that does all the editions that I really like. Next up, we have got the shirt again and they've made it up in a fine detailed fabric, which means you cannot see any of the details of it. So well done, Birda. That's a complete throwaway. And they actually say in the notes, the secret, be sure to use fabric with a fine print. I just wouldn't because you, you, you're going into all the trouble of making button plackets and little cute little angered, angled pockets and then nobody can see them so not sure about that oh i've just realized that this styling shoot is called british street style so maybe that's why i like it but british street style isn't really horses it isn't we're not quite leading horses along the street i'm not sure what germany thinks britain's like but um, this isn't the most hilarious shoot by the way that's further on in the magazine so then we got the drawstring trousers again now they made them up in a wool now I love them in the pattern I love them in the check I would not make these in a wool I think they'd be itchy and uncomfortable but if if I saw this in like a scuba or a ponte no not a scuba a ponte um, I would make those in a heartbeat I think they look lovely Next up, we have got a poncho. Now, Birda makes me laugh a bit with this because they don't laugh love a poncho, but this is a poncho with a difference. Look at this pattern piece. It's basically a rectangle with a chimney stuck on the left. It's like a child's drawing of a factory. Um, so it's obviously asymmetrical, but what I would like to know is how do you move the arm that's constricted there is no ease for you to move your right arm. So answers on a postcard, please. Then we've got the V-neck sweater made up in a wool fabric, which I like. I don't really like the belt with it, but um, whatever. Then we've got a shirt dress. I think the shirt dress is really nice. That looks very kind of ready to wear the fabric that they've chosen for it. I don't really wear shirt dresses, but I do like them on other people, especially if you're holding a horse. Uh, then we've got a kind of waterfall skirt, which they've made in like a faux suede. Yeah, faux suede. Um, then we've got this dress. I really like this dress. It's got a panel down the front and the way that the panel works is it gives like a tulip effect to the skirt with the ple with the pleats and I like the fabric that they've used to make it. I think it's really nice. Um, yeah, I really like that. I would consider making that for myself. 
Then we've got a shirt, and I really love this. Oh, they've described it as a blouse. It is a blouse, really, or a top. I really like this. I think the sleeves are really cool. The sleeves are cut with a one-piece yoke, which is quite an un unusual pattern piece. So I'd, the construction of that is probably going to be quite interesting. Um, so I like that. I would really like to make that up. So for that, they recommend a viscose. And then we've got the dress, which they've made up in this quite clashing, quite unpleasant patchwork fabric. Um, and that is the one that's got the sewing lesson. So if you're new to Birda, that's a great introduction. Um, so yeah, the dress is only two dots, so not too difficult. Then we have got the, the waterfall skirt again that they've made up in like a grey... They've made it up in like a grey striped wool fabric. A really cute girl's dress with a little yoke. You know I would wear that myself in a heartbeat. And I did actually check the sizes of it, but it only goes up to size 122. Damn you, birder. Um, I'd definitely make that for myself. Um, the blouse here again is in a cotton this time. It's much more structured. I really like how it looks how the sleeve sleeves look although the fit looks a bit wonky on her it looks like it's stretching across the upper chest area i love the bow on the back i think it's just a really nice blouse um then we have got the dress again this time made up in a gray again wool they're going mental on the wool this uh, this issue i like it i think it shows off the pleats really well i think it's cute i am not sure about the bonnet I'm um, not sure where they were going with the bonnets. Then we have got a little plain shirt again, which is the one that's got the pleats in the back. I like that. Then we've got this weird poncho again, which I notice every time they've shot a picture of it, they've shot, shot it from the side that's got the ease in, hiding the side that's got the straight, jacket, straight jacketed arm. And I think that's for a reason. I think they've made this and thought, well, she can't move her arm. She looks a bit of a plum. Um, so I'd love, I'd love it if somebody makes that and lets me know what it's like. Then we've got the blazer again, and it's been made in like a grey wool, and it just looks gorgeous. It just looks swoon worthy. Um, then we've got a fella who is trying to operate some kind of press, um, wearing men's drawstring pants made up in again a wool fabric like a tailoring fabric so that's quite unusual i do think they look good on him but i think they're the sort of thing that would only really look good on a male model i'm not sure how they would translate to real people next up we have got is this a version of the other dress i wonder might well be a shirt dress that it's is so on trend it is really really like the whole kind of 1970s puffed sleeves victoriana sort of trend um it's got this pleated piece down center front now although it's a shirt dress the addition of this pleated piece actually makes it a lot more kind of attractive to me and a lot more like something that i would consider making or wearing so i really love that i think that um the fabric and everything that they chose was just spot on for that then we have got another really cute little girl's dress with a is it an inverse pleat anyway want a pleat that pops out not not that goes in um and little pockets and little tiny little cap sleeves um i think that looks really cute and then we've got a jacket for, uh, sorry a waistcoat for a boy which looks quite cute as well the kid looks quite cute then we got a waistcoat for a man. Birda should have just called it the waistcoat edition. Not sure about your hat, mate. We got another sewing lesson for the waistcoat, which is really good because it does look like there's a bit of tailoring involved. There's li it's lined and something's just collapsed in the corridor, if you heard that noise. It'll be a stack of all the fabric that I've got laid around the flat. Then we've got their trend pattern that's kind of like their fashion pattern and I really really like it. It's an asymmetrical uh, midi skirt that they've made in this check fabric and um, 
it's a three dot which means it's fairly hard I really like that I would definitely make that in like a tartan I think that would look really cool it would be a bit out of my comfort zone but maybe in a good way now we've got the larger size patterns and I have to tell you I'm so jealous of them this edition there's some really gorgeous ones first of all we've got a collarless coat which I really like I think it looks really stylish in the camel um, it's described as a wrap coat and yeah I just think that would be a really classic addition to your wardrobe then we've got a top that I love the way that it's got an inset um, slightly well it's an asymmetric funnel neck um, and it's made out of they've made it up in sweater net and I think that looks really lovely I really like that I would like to see that made up again I'm not sure if they've only made that up once then we've got a dress which I really like um, what size did it start at? I was just wondering if I could um, grade it down I love the fabric that they've used as well oh it's jersey as well so this is really nice it's a reasonably complex sort of front piece because it's got I think three different front pieces to the bodice because it all pulls into this central point but again I would really like to see that in a plain fabric because you can't see the details although I love this print you can't see the details on it but love that pattern I think that would look so gorgeous on then we have got some more drawstring trousers you guessed it a kind of robe top uh, it's described as a jacket but it's a bit like a sort of uh, well like one of these sort of thin robe type um, loose tops with no fastenings and um, that is kind of a bit meh for me and we've got the jacket made up in a velour which I do not love um, oh they have made the top again here they've made the top in a plain fabric and maybe it's not as complicated construction as I thought it doesn't look that it like it fits the model quite properly because it should be pulling in at the waist and it actually looks it should be cinching her in but that actually looks like she's kind of pulling it out um, but I do still really like that so yeah they've made it up as a tunic there um, then we've got the drawstring trousers again the retro style is, it's, I don't know, it's a cute little top with a cute little bow but it's not calling me and I can't imagine where there is any kind of event where I would wear that. Then we've got a whole load of knitting patterns. Now I cannot knit apart from knit stitch, I can't even purl. Um, so I knit scarves and that is it so these are a little bit lost on me although I have to say I really really like them so if you knit then this might be for you and um, there is a really sort of trendy jumper with chevrons on which I love there's some really cute um, they look like that sort of Scandi style um, socks what do they describe them as Norwegian knitting um, they're lovely then we have got a big old sweater knit pullover sorry it's not sweating it it's, I think it's like chunky yarn um, and it looks really really easy I really love that because it's just it looks just like three square pieces basically joined together then we've got this massive scarf which I could do this is about my level of knitting but actually I've got one very much like that that I knitted last year which will see me through this year as well it's got lots and lots of colours in that I really like in fact I'll um I'll pop a little picture of it in then we've got a weird uh it's described as a triangle scarf but it's got some kind of plaits on it and bobbles pom pom -y things I like that but not as much as the next cardigan which I really love I think it's so fashionable the little the colours are so on trend and then the um the squares on the back the color the way the color is blocked 
I think it's really, really lovely. And that, friends, is all from Birder today. I really enjoyed this month. Um, I thought it was really varied. There was so much in it and, yeah, so much that might even kind of convert me to start knitting, I'm thinking now. Um, please let me know what you think of it in my downstairs. I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope you enjoyed this review today. Um, if you did, then please give me the thumbs up. It really does help. It, the more that you comment or give me the thumbs up button, the more YouTube will promote my videos, the more subscribers I will then get, the more people I get watching my videos. So please don't think that you're doing nothing. If you just give me the thumbs up, you are really helping my channel. So it's massively appreciated. So please, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and click on the ding ding bell and you'll get notified every time I release a vlog. Uh, my next vlog will be a summary of my September makes. There wasn't very many because I made a coat um, but I'll be talking to you about my September makes in a video coming very soon. Love you lots. Love from Camden. Bye!